Renishaw Probe software uses several saved offsets in its measurement calculations. These offsets account for the stylus size, stylus runout, and the machine's reaction time. In order to return accurate results, you must calibrate your probe against a feature of known dimensions to establish these offsets. You should calibrate your probe when you are setting up a new probe to be used for the first time. You have replaced the stylus after breaking the old one. You have replaced the current stylus with a different one. Or, if you have noticed the probe is not returning accurate results. To calibrate a probe, you must first indicate the stylus tip. Then, you will calibrate the probe in the XY directions. Finally, you will calibrate the probe in the Z direction. When screwing the stylus into the probe switch, be sure to only use the provided tool to tighten the stylus to the probe. This tool is designed to bend at a torque below that which will damage the probe. Using an Allen key or other device without such protection may result in damage to the probe switch mechanism. With the probe in the spindle, use a test indicator to measure the runout of the probe stylus ball while spinning the probe by hand. Use the four adjustment screws on the probe tool holder to minimize the runout by loosening and tightening opposing screws in pairs. A total indicated reading of two ten thousandths of an inch is easily achievable. Obtain a ring gauge and make sure the inside diameter is clean and free of chips or dirt. Firmly secure it to a flat surface inside the machine, such as the table or on top of a vise. If you are using a 5-axis mill, make sure all rotary axes are homed. Handle jog the probe inside the ring gauge at its approximate center. Find the program named Probe Calibrate XY and set it as the active program in the machine. At the top of this program, you will see a line where macro variables are set to the diameter of the ring gauge and the diameter of the stylus ball. Make sure that these numbers match the diameter of the ring gauge and the diameter of the stylus ball that you are using and edit the values accordingly if they do not. Put the machine in memory mode and press cycle start to run the program. The machine will begin probing the ring gauge. Once the cycle is completed, the probe is calibrated in the X and Y directions. Obtain a master tool and a gauge block. A master tool has a known tool length from the spindle taper gauge line and a known diameter. If your machine has a touch tool setter or a laser tool setter, it is important to calibrate the probe with the same master tool used to calibrate the tool setter. Load the master tool into the spindle. Clear off an open area of the table so that it is free of chips and coolant. If you are using a 5-axis mill, make sure all rotary axes are homed. Jog the master tool over this area. You will now touch off the master tool on the table using your gauge block. Jog the master tool down in Z until you are just barely unable to slide the gauge block between the tool and the table. With the handle jog increment set to the maximum setting, move the master tool up in Z one click at a time attempting to slide the block between the tool and the table after each movement. As soon as you reach the first position where you are able to slide the block under the tool, remove the block, handle jog down one click in Z, and change the handle jog increment to the next smallest setting. Repeat this process until you find the first Z position where the block can slide between the tool and the table using the smallest handle jog increment on your machine. 
Go to the Position Display page. Record the Z coordinate from the Machine coordinate readout. Subtract the length of the master tool and the length of the gauge block. The resulting number is the machine Z coordinate of the surface. Type this number into the Z coordinate of any work offset. With the master tool still in the same XY position, return to the position page and record the X and Y coordinates from the machine coordinate readout. Type these numbers into the X and Y coordinates of the same work offset you are using for Z. Remove the master tool from the spindle and insert the probe. Make sure the machine's current tool number is the same tool number you wish to give to the probe. Make a tool change to the desired tool number before putting the probe in the spindle, if this is not the case. Find the program titled Probe Calibrate Z and set it as the active program in the machine. Make sure the work offset called at the beginning of the program matches the work offset you have loaded the desired X, Y, and Z coordinates into. Below that, the probe tool number and probe stylus diameter are set to macro variables. Make sure that these values are correct and edit them accordingly if they are not. With a ruler or tape measure, find the approximate length from the spindle face to the tip of the probe. Open the tool offset page and type this number into the length geometry column for the tool number of the probe. Put the machine in memory mode and press cycle start to run the program. The machine will probe the surface. Once the cycle is completed, the probe is calibrated in the Z direction.